Now we can see how we can manage our instruments in Camelot. We have seen in the layer tutorial how you can add instruments to each layer, create splits. In this case we are going deeper to see how the management of the instruments can be done in Camelot. So let's explore the plus button of each layer. The plus button has different options. You can add and connect to the MIDI input of this layer an hardware instrument, a plugin instrument. You can use your own user instrument maps and MIDI programs and you can create one-shot MIDI programs. Basically, uh, Camelot has uh, created a kind of smart maps. So Camelot is capable to talk and communicate with many instruments and get the names of the user sound in each, in each instrument. But of course, the mapping, the smart mapping process is very long to cover the entire spectrum of the instrument uh, available in the planet. So uh, we are still using, and we, you can still use in Camelot, the MIDI programming to uh, control any instrument that has not a smart map yet. Let's add an hardware instrument. With the hardware instrument, we have created a collection of uh, different uh, brands. So we have Studio Logic, Yamaha, Nord, and many others. And uh, let's select, for example, the Studio Logic brand and uh, the Numa Compact 2X. In this case, we have a smart map. A smart map allows you to select any sounds, any program in this case for the Numa Compact 2X directly without the need to know the MIDI program message. So in this case, I am switching from the grand piano to the rock mix piano or a gospel B3 organ. Let's hear that. Let me switch on the grand piano. That's it. It's very easy. You don't need to, to go deeper in, into any MIDI programming in this case. And uh, another question that uh, many of you are um, asking is if Camelot is capable to read the uh, user preset names. With the smart map it's possible. You just need to press on the update and refresh button and Camelot will get immediately the information from the instrument. In this case, the preset list has been updated and you can select all the sound also or the, the user sound that you have created. Now, let's see how uh, deeper we can go with uh, uh, smart maps and uh, integration. In this case, I can select the piano and string patch and uh, use the SL grant to play the Numa Compact UX. In this case, we can hear only the piano sounds, even if the piano and string patch has been selected. Let's see if I play locally on the Numa Compact UX keyboard. What is the reason? The reason is that the SL is transmitting the notes only on channel 1, but the Numa Compact 2X program has been created using two parts, the grand piano on channel 1 and the strings on channel 2. So what uh, I can do, I can go here on the Numa Compact 2X panel, go down in the footer of the MIDI settings and routing, and then applying an advanced channel routing to replicate any message that uh, comes into channel 1 also on channel 2. In this case Camelot should be able to connect the, the two channels between the SL ground controller to the Numa Compact 2X. Now you can hear that uh, both piano and string sounds are playing. Let's see another cool feature of Camelot, expanding the item. So I can double click on this item or just expand it from the layer view. If I expand it, Camelot establishes another communication with the instrument to uh, know exactly the sounds and the level of those sounds that uh, are playing in different parts. So in this case, the upper part on channel 1 has the concert piano 
and the lower part has the strings one sound. With Camelot, I can adjust the levels of the part without uh, touching the panel of these instruments. As you can see, and you can hear, the sound of the piano is very low now. I can raise the strings. But also, I can click on the sound name and switch to another sound. Let's use, for example, an FM piano. In this case, I didn't need to, to know anything about the, the MIDI implementation chart of the NUMA Compass 2X. All the job has been done by Camelot. With the same approach, we can go deeper and then also we can expand each part. Let's see how we can do that. I can click on the expand button of the part and in this case, I can see that I have eight faders available with different CC messages. So, in this case, I can just move any fader of uh, this uh, expanded part view to tweak the sound for my live use without the need to go into a deep sound design menu in the instrument. Each MIDI item, as we have seen before, another dedicated MIDI menu with different settings that are very convenient to tweak and adjust the MIDI properties for that instrument only. In this case, we have the MIDI port connection that are uh, mandatory to have a correct communication between Camelot and uh, your instrument. In this case, you need to select the correct port on the Send MIDI 2 allow Camelot to send the notes and the messages when you want to play that instrument and the sync data port connecting the MIDI out from the instrument to the Camelot MIDI in. This connection is important to get the information of the preset names, the parts, volume levels, in some instruments also the keyboard range values, so it's very important, so you need to connect that port. The filters, transpose, octave shift, and uh, the advanced mid routing are the same that uh, we have seen in the layers, but are specialized for that item, for that instrument. In this case, we can see also the device common channel label, that is a read-only information, that uh, uh, provides us only the information that the receiving channel of the instrument, basically, is uh, the default a common channel of that other instrument. Where can I manage that? I just have to click on the cog button and here I will see all the information that are available for that instrument. In this case I can select the common channel for the NUMA Compact 2X but also I can select the local on and local off state of the instrument as well. On this hardware settings menu there are also an info screen that gives us all the information about the communication and the setup that is needed to control that instrument with Camelot but also what are the features that are supported because any instrument is different and has a different level of integration so uh, any smart maps can go deeper more or less in, in different uh, cases. The setup info provides you the information to know what you can do or you, you can't do uh, with Camelot and your instrument. Follow also those instructions to address any communication issue and to check if the connection are done in the right way.